We got a package. So, Aquatic Monkey. Uh, <clears throat> Aquatic Monkey sent us a bunch of phones to fix that he found while diving. He found these all at the bottom of the lake, so they're gonna be pretty musty and uh, they're gonna smell really bad, but we're gonna open it and see what he sent. So the first phone we're gonna try is this iPhone 6. Oh my God. Before we open this disgusting phone up, I wanna say thank you to Aquatic Monkey. Go check out his channel, link is in the description. He actually sent us the footage of the phone recovery, so enjoy. I'm not ready for this. That's a lot of damage. So, um, I should be wearing gloves for this, but I hate wearing gloves, so I'm not going to. We're gonna unscrew. This is bad. This one's really bad. This one has been underwater for at least, I'd say, six or seven months, if not more. Not a good look on this phone. Okay, so. Oh. Oh my God. That's beautiful. What happened to you, iPhone 6? Who who abandoned you in a lake? I really don't think there's any chance this is gonna turn on, but because getting it on would be such an accomplishment, I'm gonna try. Unscrew. Just another day, just another normal looking phone. Disconnect the battery, that is terrible. The water damage indicator just gave up. It clocked out. I don't think we're going to be able to get a lot of these screws off. I only want the logic board. I don't want anything else. We have a missing screw. Somebody did not put the screw in. They should be blamed for this. This is all their fault. Unscrew. If by some miracle this works, um, you guys owe me a like and to subscribe on this video. Remove our screen. Is that a rock? There's a rock in here. Nice. I don't know why I'm doing this because I don't think there's any chance this will ever work. My mat will never be the same after this. So I can't even get the board off because of this screw here. It's too far gone. I'm gonna try a little trick with my rubber band. Don't think it'll come off though. So I got a little carried away trying to get this board off, but it's stuck by this screw here, so I don't think I can get it off. We're gonna just go crazy and try a new battery and screen. It's definitely not gonna work, but on the off chance that it does, it'd be really cool. So we're gonna try and put in a new battery and a new screen. This is definitely not gonna work, but on the off chance that it does, um, it'd be crazy. I don't really wanna waste my time trying to fix this because chances are it's done for. That's the screen connected and we'll connect the battery. I doubt the uh, power button still works. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No way. That's impossible. So it was almost impossible for you guys to see with the lights on, but this thing is on and working. I don't know how because it looks like you can see what it looks like. That's uh, how does that work? I have no clue. Apple, you outdid yourself with this iPhone 6. So what we're going to do with this phone now is we're going to close it up and we're going to try and use their SIM card to contact them and let them know that we do have their phone. And if they have any data that they want out of their phone, uh, we can give it to them. Aside from that, I, I doubt this phone works with any carrier or anything like that. The camera and everything else is busted up. It's, it's really not worth too much. But if they have sensitive data on it, we'll definitely get that over to them. So I just plugged it into the computer and I had to uh, change one of the charging ports just because the other charging port would not work. And I found out his name. The guy who owned it is named James. But what's crazy is it's running firmware version 8.3. And if I'm not wrong, that was released in 2014. So this phone could have easily been, been underwater for more than six years. That's a huge possibility, and I find that insane. I, I don't know how it still works given its shape. Um, I still can't take it off because of this one screw. If I do, I'll probably end up damaging the board. I might try in the future, but for now, uh, I'm just gonna try and get a hold of James and see if he has any data he wants on the phone. If not, then I'll experiment more, but that's honestly insane. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.